It's my great pleasure to rise to dis um, talk on the inquiry into perinatal services, the final report produced by the Family and Community Development Committee in uh, June just this year. Um, I'd like to begin by thanking um, the staff, uh, two particularly who went over and above in their research um, for this uh, and, and, uh, and congratulate them on the arrival of one baby and the pending arrival of another in January. So certainly did their research and um, put in some extra yards there. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank um, uh, some of the locals from the Warrnambool area who um, came along um, at, at my request to um, give information into the inquiry because I knew they would be very valuable and I'd th like to thank Dr Liz Uren, um, Mrs Rachel Lee, uh, Julianne Clift, uh, Ms Janine Facey and Mr Nicholas Place, uh, Barbara Glare and the mums who supported her that day and gave um, some insights as well. Mary Ann Purcell and a colleague from my nursing days who put in a written submission, um, Kaz Austin. So all contributing um, significantly to the findings, some 80 plus findings and uh, recommendations that are in the report. Um, I think the report uh, really does highlight some of the ways we have progressed in our perinatal services. And I'd like to say that I think um, the findings are that we actually do a pretty good job. In, you know, we started this um, journey probably in the 1920s when we realised that uh, we did need to put more of a medical model around um, birthing. And, um, and we did that and we've done very well. There is always room for improvement and I will talk about those in a moment. But there is also a time to recognise what we do well. But I think what we've forgotten, whilst we might have put a great medical model in place, what we forgot was to recognise that, the, particularly in the last, say, 40 years, the dynamics of families are changing. And once where we had extended families, um, aunts, uncles, cousins, mothers, um, sorry, uh, grandmothers, we don't seem to have that in the busy lives of families anymore. So what we found with the um, report and highlighted in our recommendations is that we really need to put social and emotional wellbeing around families very, very early in the piece if we want to address some of the societal issues that are causing us um, challenges, such as crime, drug addiction, uh, mental health issues. And I'm not saying they're all as a result of not supporting families, but I am saying with the support of families very, very early, uh, we can support and offer what the extended family I feel once did. So I'd like to discuss one of the recommendations initially, which was um, uh, recommendation 4.3, that the Victorian government support rural and regional maternity services through increased funding and staffing to allow women in, in rural and regional areas the choice of giving birth in their own community and taking into account the safety of mothers and babies and the capability framework for Victorian maternity and newborn services in the region. And I highlight um, Portland Hospital in this instance where, you know, there really does need to be some investment and I think that this government is ignoring the fact that um, we need to have services right out into the regions and we don't want to be uh, a state where we just have the city of Melbourne. We want to be a state that has a state of cities and Portland is uh, certainly one of those cities who currently um, birth 80 babies and will probably go up to 120 this year. But you look at the waste funding and the way it works, they will have, get an income for those babies of um, 600k. But to put 24-hour service on for an obstetrician and an anaesthetist, which you need 24 hours a day with... Um, pending uh, potential challenges, and midwives would cost about $2 million. So we've got to understand that there are challenges for the regional centres that we need to take into account so we can grow the regions and provide the services and keep those safety features that we want to continue uh, at, as a priority. I'd also like to mention that um, the Warnell Base Hospital um, has a, a big commitment from the Liberal National Government and is the only uh, current um, and no one is committing like we are. We recognise the importance of regional hospitals and that's why we've prioritised uh, a commitment to Warrnambool based hospitals upgrade. I'd then like to discuss the, in the recommendations the Victorian Government evaluate the demand for early parenting centres with the view of expanding services um, so mothers and babies and families can be supported. Now, Barb Glare um, is a woman in our community who, who's developed a centre and I think we saw lots of examples where women can go and be supported with early lactation support and general support that uh, those extended families, I think, used to provide. And we need to look for people in our communities who have these organic growth of um, services rather than try to implement something that won't work and support them. And uh, I recommend that we do look to put more supports around families and uh, that's exactly what the report uh, highlights. So it gives me great pleasure to uh, have been part of this uh, committee. I believe we will make a difference when implementing some of these recommendations and we will give families the support they need.